Welcome back to OwnerBuilderOnline.com. Today we're going to be discussing framing layout. Now it's real important that the owner builder contact their framing contractor at least two weeks before the concrete is supposed to be uh, poured. This is to make sure the framer has time to get the layout crew scheduled to be on top of that slab snapping lines as soon as it's ready. The layout is going to be the road map for the framing crews to follow to build your house correctly. Included on that layout are going to be rough openings with measurements, wall placement, shear walls, connectors, details, any corrections that are necessary. One of the main things that is going to be indicated on the slab is going to be the rough openings and their measurements. Now a rough opening is an opening for a door or a window and it's going to be slightly larger than the door or window that's going in. Here we have the front door, a side light, and then also a wall with a window going out to the entryway. That extra space in the rough opening gives the trim carpenter the opportunity to make any adjustments to make sure that the door or the window is plumb and square. They've also indicated on this slab that they need to remove the concrete and replace it with pavers in the entryway. The plumbing on this house was done very well. All the plumbing is within the walls. That's not always the case. Be aware if that plumbing is outside the wall, you need to contact your plumber and get that taken care of early on in the build. It's a real hassle to be breaking concrete later on and moving plumbing back into walls. Details such as arches, pot shelves, soffits, uh, any nooks that you're going to be putting in should also be indicated on the slab. Here we have a header. On the plans it probably indicated a 6x10 header. Here they're using three 2x10s. They're interchangeable, that's just fine. There's also a bearing wall put down here. And a bearing wall bears the weight of roof trusses and underneath that wall there's going to be an interior footing, some additional concrete to support that weight. The concrete contractor has done some saw cut joints on this slab and that's to reduce any uh, cracking that might occur on the concrete. We know that concrete moves. Cracking is pretty much inevitable, but when you saw cut joints, that controls where that cracking is going to occur. At the front entry of the house, you will often find an options list for the framers to follow. If the owner builder has purchased a kit home, a stock plan or a plan online that requires that they select options, this list will be on the slab. The framers use it to determine what particular options have been selected by the owner builder so they can put those in. The plumber has put in a spigot at the water supply at the laundry room. This is great to have because it gives the uh, different trades in the building water access throughout the construction process. Note also there at the lower left you see a marking saying STHD8. We have a missing hurricane strap. As you can see from the detail, that was supposed to be put in prior to concrete and be embedded in the concrete. So we have a real issue. The owner builder needs to get with the engineer or architect and an engineered correction needs to be drawn up. The concrete contractor then needs to execute that correction and an inspection needs to be called. Be sure you have a stamped copy of the engineered correction to give to the inspector when they arrive. Thank you for visiting Owner Builder Online today and we'd like you to come back uh, real soon. We have a lot of videos on the way.